Perfect. Seven days to die. Alpha 14. What is up, pros? Damage Pro here. Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die, the survival horde crafting game. How long can you survive, huh? Tell me in the comments down below. How long have you lasted? So, I know it's been a little bit of a... little bit of time since last episode, but... Alpha 14 is out now. A lot of... Uh, quite a few changes. New system and all that. I'm still trying to get used to it. So, let's get straight into it and create a new world called... X Damage Pro, because that's my YouTube name. Um, let's go to day like length to 18 zombies run default enemy aggression normal I'm not sure what that does go modded option 24 hour cycle who we'll maybe do maybe 60 minutes so we get a decent amount of time to build and do what we need to do to get stuff uh, block durability 100% loot bundles 100% we are going to bung that down to 50% because in a zombie apocalypse, stuff isn't always all over the place. It's really hard to get stuff. So drop on death, tool belt only, which is what we want to do for now. En enemy memory, 30 seconds, enemy respawn. Medium, air drops every three days. Let's go, yeah, every three days should be fine. Cheat mode, nope. Let's turn that off. Let's start, shall we? So last time we left off. I um, actually don't remember, remember last time we left off. Um, yeah. So let's just wait until we are in the world. He changes right away. Just, just watch. How cool is that? Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place. And you look like you could use some help. Enclosed is a part is a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we might take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement. It's the real and it's safe. Good luck, Noah. Basic survival is your active quest. The quest status is displayed on the objective tracker on the top right hand of the screen. For more information on quests, access your inventory and navigate to the quest menu. Ah, nice. So this is the new change, guys. We have new... We're going to craft the axe, gather some flint pipers, gather wood, gather small stones, and gather... Well, craft a stone axe. So that's new. Completely new to the game. Anything else? Okay, that's pretty much it. So we are spawned in a nice, lavish land. Oops, pretty well. So we're going to do one quest each episode if we can. So we're going to get a stone axe. So we get some... This is what we normally do. Get some stones. Get some stones. Get some stones. So comment down below on your opinion so far. If you have played Alpha 14, your thoughts on Alpha 14, any bugs or any other things I should know about that I don't know about just yet, feel free to leave a comment down below because it would be much appreciated. Like some of the building stuff that I'll be doing, I'll probably cut that out or maybe speed it up in the footage with an overlay some music and all that. That's what I might do. Alright, let's get some plain fibers. If you're new to Seven Days to Die, welcome! This is a zombie survival crafting game where you have to survive in a zombie apocalyptic world. Gather resources, gather materials, gather food, building blocks and materials, and survive zombies. That's pretty much all the game is at the moment. It's actually still in alpha, so just keep that in mind. Everything still looks amazing, by the way. Very, very well done game. This game has been um, created by the Fun Pimps. Uh, I should leave, I'll probably leave a um, Reddit thread to the Fun Pimps and their website. So if you want to go ahead and check that out and want to buy this game, I re do recommend you buying this game because this started off similar to Minecraft and sort of gone to like the 3D graphics and smooth terrain and s 
stuff like that, which is all, all, all good. So now we can actually craft a stone axe. So you can see it's all highlighted. I've got two plant flowers, I've got two gathered wood, gather small stones. Now it's time to craft it. There we go. Quest complete. Basic survival. One of eight. Craft a stone axe. There we go. Quest started. Craft plant fiber cloth. Clothing. So you gather a lot of um, plant fiber materials. But we're going to wait until that for that next episode to do that. So we're going to chop some trees down. Get some lot of wood. And let's, let's see how far we can go without our first death. Because I'm pretty sure... Before... I think it was Alpha 13.6 or something like that. I think we got... To a couple of episodes before we died. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go back on those episodes. I love that feature. I love when trees fall down like that. I wish Minecraft would do that, to be honest. So, if you're gonna head and play this game, the start of the game is gonna be relatively slow at the beginning but once you have weapons once you have tools and decent amount of cloth armor and stuff like that you are going to do real good so we're gonna, we're gonna take some of these what are these called again cotton we're gonna take some of these cotton we're gonna actually gonna make a sleeping bag so we can set a spawn point so if we do die we don't spawn in a random location we don't want to do definitely not put some golden rod tea that should be helpful i'm pretty sure now, I do not know if there's any new items in the game just yet. I have heard there's new updates to zombies, the AI and stuff. As you can see, there's actually um, big oceans along the side now. And it's not like endless, endless landscape for yonks. So, which is, which is alright. Pretty good, I guess. Alright, so now that we have enough cotton, now we can go to click on and click recipes. We can turn it into a sleeping bag. We can't turn it into uh, cloth fragments. Oops. There we go. Let's craft it up. As you, if you're new to the game, you have a, you got like four crafting queues, so you can craft up to four items in a queue as you're going about the place. Oh, pine seed. That's new. I've never received one of them before. So yeah. Right. So that's done. Let's go. To sleeping bag. Whoops, if I spell sleeping correctly. Can't craft a sleeping bag? Bedroll. Oh, they changed the name of it, that's why. It used to be called sleeping bag, but now they changed it to bedroll. Okay, that's gonna take 15 seconds to craft. So let's get exploring a bit. Get our surroundings ready. Ooh. Come here, piggy. Ooh, a road, yes. Yes. Perfect. Please get a bone. Please get a bone. Please get a bone. Quick, 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 quick. The reason why I want a bone is because we can actually turn it into a bone shiv. So when we do kill more animals, we can actually do it more efficiently. I think we get bones after the mammal's dead. Yes, we do. Alright, so now if we go recipes, we can actually make a bone shiv. This would be useful for cutting other animals up and getting more meat. But we got six pieces of raw meat, which is pretty good because we're gonna need meat. In the, we're gonna need food in the zombie apocalypse, guys. We really do. I'm not sure how long these episodes are gonna be. I'm not too sure. I might make a couple episodes, then cut them up. I'm not too sure, really. If you guys want that, it's up to you. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, some iron. Scrap. Lead, sorry. There's nothing in that car. What's around? So we spawn around about here. Let's go this way, see what we can find. There's a, like a pathway to a point of interest. Okay, we are back. We have our first zombie in front of us. Let's see how this goes down. And he sees us, let's get this car first. Ooh, a lady killer challenge. Okay, it's kind of new, never seen that one before. Now let's 
craft a club real quick. Um, Elmen weapons. Good club. Let's craft one of those bad boys. And let's kill this guy. Alright. Don't miss. Miss twice. That's a bad thing. Was another zombie coming to join the party? And he's dead. Right. Scavenge. But he's got nothing. He's got nothing. Hello. You want some too? Try not to get hit, obviously. And he's dead. Alright. Ooh, some glue and a hat. Another guy. Now I want to save my energy for now. Okay, the T intersection right here. Let's see where these go. Nothing in that car either. Let's go this way and see where this leads. Ooh, what is that? Okay, we've got a blue spruce seed, so which should be helpful to gathering more wood in the future. Which should be good. We see something, guys. We see something. Damn it, too fast. Is it me or not? I think it's just rocks. It's just rocks, guys. Misunderstanding. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. We did find something. We did find something. Let's see what have we found. We have a poppin' pills, which is good. Just in case we do get injured, which likely we will. So keep that in mind, guys. Nothing in the car again. Why do we even bother? Why do I even bother? This is nest. Alright, it's popping pills. There's some zombie bags right here. Passing gas, which is will be handy. Garage. Why set up shop in that garage there? Once we get rid of all these guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh, that was close. Oh god, I'm not prepared yet. No, 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 no. Even close. Get away from me. I can use this now. Well, I still can. There's so many. Oh, that was a bad decision, guys. I should not have looted that, that girl. Some gas. Some barrels. Um, what can we do? Pick that barrel up. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end up the video here. Nothing much was really done in this episode, but only because we're just starting off. This is what happens when we start the new world. Everything's brand new. Take everything from the beginning. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button down below if you have. And be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.